right, so welcome to the to the healing arts. Um, happy that you're here, that you join live in class or maybe on YouTube if this is going to be posted, who knows. So um, painting, visual arts is, is the topic of today, um, at least the way in which we express ourselves. And um, before we start, uh, it is you know, just the same as with making a painting at least is how I work, slow down, relax, um, come into some kind of um, non-productive state of mind, like you don't want to produce anything, you don't want you might feel inspired, but you're not here to, to make something. Um, so what, what will manifest itself will, will show itself anyway. So you wait a little bit, it's like we start to listen to, um, to the inner voice, inner movement that is taking place. Like if, you, if something comes from this silence that we say are about to enter into, then it is such beautiful communication. That's, it's so beautiful how that flows. And this is, this is my experience of how I work and um, how I love to be present and everything flows natural there's not it's not effort there's not a lot of effort so everything is around you you don't have to struggle for it no not anything is gonna stop you to do it so this is this is how you can compose music this is how you can make a painting this is how you come into movement when you when you dance or it's not that you have to do it this way, but it becomes a whole different activity altogether because it's based on on listening. It's based on becoming still before you do anything. And that's a great um, start, is my experience. So whatever helps with that to um, yeah, become inspired or to to continue on the flow of inspiration that is that is coming to you. So this is this is the practice that we do, and however that works in uh, for you in your say in your process, um, in your spiritual or awakening process, in, in your transformational process. Um, so I found I found one um, poem that I love to share. It's it's a prayer kind of poem, but it's um, I think it's very beautiful, and that's why I love to share it too. So it's. To me, it's very inspirational. It is from from a friend of mine, so I don't know if you recognize him. It is uh, from uh, Yogananda, Whispers of From Eternity. So I'll just read you the, um, the poem. The honeycomb of my heart. In the summer days of life, I gather nectar from blossoms of sweet qualities that grow in the garden of human souls. I store the essence of tall flowers of forgiveness and of faint scented buds of humility and rare bloss blooms of lotus thoughts. When snowflakes of wintry experiences and earthly separations swirl around me, I seek warmth and joy in the honeycomb of my heart. There I have often discovered thee, O oh be divine, sipping the hoarded sweetness of my devotion. In the hive hallowed by thee, I find my nook of solace. I'll repeat it once more. In the summer days, or oh, the honeycomb of my heart is the title. In the summer days of life, I gather nectar from blossoms of sweet qualities that grow in the garden of human souls. I store the essence of tall flowers of forgiveness, of faint scented buds of humility, and of rare blooms of lotus thoughts. When snowflakes of wintry experiences and earthly separations swirl around me, I seek warmth and joy in the honeycomb of my heart. 
There I have often discovered thee, O oh, be divine, sipping the hoarded sweetness of my devotion. In the hive hallowed by thee, I find my nook of solace. So this is this is good stuff to me. <laughs> I, I, there's there's a little associative story connected to it. I I once went to to uh, Encinitas where um, Yogananda has his had his ashram or still there is an ashram, and we were there uh, on his birthday. So I didn't know that because I don't know much about him, but I just happened to be there. So suddenly I walked into the chapel and people escorted us to the front and suddenly there were like seats in front that were the only seats left and we sat in this beautiful place to celebrate the birthday of uh, Yogananda which was pretty wild, the timing was great. <laughs> so later on when I got to the library of Yogananda where I found this book I started to read one poem and about uh, from that moment on I slided into an, a release that took say an hour or so in which I was completely overwhelmed with gratitude reading his poems and being so full of them fully yeah I felt him so present here and it felt so much like a very good friend so that is the little story connected to this book, but I love the poetry of, uh, of Yogananda. I, I never used it in the last years, but suddenly I found this book again and it's like, oh, how lovely is that, how great. So that's why I want to uh, share with you some fresh inspiration that just came down, literally. I just found this beautiful um, poem, prayer, whatever you want to call it. See, and this is this is so lovely in how you can work, quote unquote, work too, in your creative expression, in your self-expression. The passion that you feel starts somewhere. You know, it's ignited by something, and and I see like sometimes it is a word, sometimes it is a whisper, sometimes it is a a movement, something that say touches you. Um, in in a very deep way and and set something in motion for you. See, and that can be color, that can be movement, like I said. It can be um, the stillness that suddenly grabs you, grabs a hold on you in a very beautiful way. And suddenly there flows something out of that too. Uh, so this this creative, intuitive flow is um, really the inspiration for this program that we do here. Uh, it's like getting in touch with that place where you're not only sitting still, you, you do that too. But if you start to listen, it, it, it brings you somewhere. It's going to move you. And, and this moving is like, a, like a, yeah, an inspirational... A flow that that flows out of you. So it's a very individual expression of that, and um, it is it is very simple. It's very direct and very much like from you, coming from you. And you recognize this when I say this. Like in the last couple of days, some of us have been very busy with the assignment and and looking at it, how to express yourself. And then you see, you cannot force it. You, you have to let it. You know, let it appear. You have to allow that flow just to be there, and and throw things away or make a thousand tryouts, and suddenly something doesn't want anything anymore and manifests itself. It is not a production. It is literally, yeah, an extension coming from you. So. I'm really happy that we can uh, continue with this program. So we have three times coming up uh, now. So one of them is the uh, the visual arts. That's today. So then the next time it is movement, and I'll show you a little inspirational, say, video clip later on, 
in which it's going to be clear what yeah what could be the inspiration for movement i don't know how that's going to express itself through you but at least that is that is an um, opportunity and um so then after that we have a uh, voice like you can call it singing but you can also call it voice so um, we'll see how that expresses too but so there's something to look forward to at least so new ways that are part of you you use your voice you use movements but now we are going to let it move you Thank you. 